coming back to our giraffe, I'm going to apply a lovely little uh, botanical pattern over the house using the stamp brush we just created. Coming to the layer where we created the actual house, I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to set that to clipping mask. So what that's going to do is it's going to clip to everything that's underneath that layer. So we could paint really outside the lines, it doesn't matter. It's basically going to only keep whatever um, is underneath that layer, it's going to retain it to, to that specific area, which is really handy if you're using something like a stamp brush. So I'm going to use the same color we use for the shadow. And using our leaf stamp, I think the size is about right. We are just going to randomly stamp out a cute little leafy pattern. I think that looks pretty good. And then on our roof, we're going to, on, using a much lighter color, we're going to use the other stamp. Just want to bring that size down a dash. And we're going to set that to a clipping mask because again, I want to clip it just the roof. And while we're using clipping masks, I'm going to add sort of a whiter area on the giraffe. So making sure I'm above my giraffe, I'm adding a new layer. I've still got my light color and I'll use Cosmos. We're going to clip it in a minute and I'm just going to create a cute little area underneath his tummy and then make sure we clip that to the body of the giraffe and what I want to do here I just want a couple of roughish edges along that part so using my eraser tool I'm going to use one of the standard brushes that come with Procreate called Sticks, and just going to lightly take away some of that, just giving the edges a bit of a more organic rough look to it that matches the rest of the giraffe. And a dash over here, I think that's it. And then finally, using a clipping mask again, we're going to use a stamp from another one of my sets, but you can use any stamp you like. The idea is to create sort of variation in the color tones of the giraffe. So I'm going to use a stamp from my uh, Aquarelle set. And I'm going to use the random blooms using, you know, the darker sort of must not mustard, orangey color. Like a burnt orange. I'm just going to create a new layer and stamp once. See if I'm happy with the placement. I'm going to set that to color burn which I'll adjust in a minute and now I'm going to set that to clipping masks. So what's going to happen as we said previously it's going to clip to everything underneath that layer. So where people get a little bit confused sometimes um, you'll see if we didn't clip it uh, the results are quite different and it it's still retaining its original shape what the stamp originally looked like but the minute we clip the stamp it's going to take on the properties of the original underneath layer and it will take on all the imperfections and even the opacity so sometimes people get confused and they can't understand why this their stamp or their clipping mask doesn't look as strong as they wanted it to it's because it's taken on all the properties that your original layer had and that includes the opacity of that layer so in this case I'm just going to bring the opacity down of my color burn because the red was a bit harsh but that's a nice way to add just a bit of variation in your uh, color application without having to paint again.